my friends, how are you guys? I cannot wait to hang out with you guys today. We have so much to do, so much to talk about. But first and foremost, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day, so let's make a early dinner together. Today we are going to do the Green Chef Cheesy Artichoke Chicken Sandwich. Carlos has never had artichoke before, so this will be really fun for him to try something new. I have had artichoke before. My first time having it was with Benefit Cosmetics at a restaurant, and I had no idea how to eat it. They had to teach me. But artichoke is really good, so I'm gonna make this. I'm really, really excited. I have the chicken defrosting here in the sink. As you guys know, we're huge fans of Green Chef in this house, and what I love about it is I haven't been able to go to the grocery store, and the last time I went to the grocery store, they were out of a lot of things, so I wasn't able to get everything that I needed. So today, we are going to cook up this real quick, cook this up real quick, because I'm really, really hungry. If you guys have been watching the news, then you know that it has been raining like crazy in California. Some parts of California have been completely flooded. We are officially out of a drought, which is insane. That's how much rain we've gotten the last week, and it's gonna go into next week. But some of the areas have been super, super crazy. Homes have been destroyed. Water has been coming into like people's businesses. We're so grateful that our area has gotten a lot of rain, but nothing crazy or major has happened in our area. Yeah, it's been a lot of rain in our area. It's just, it's so, so crazy. When I used to live in Pennsylvania, I got like all four seasons. Like rain was like nothing new. Like when growing up there, rain was just, you know, another day in our lives. But moving here, since California rarely ever gets rain, like we are literally the state of sunshine. Whenever it rains, you can just tell that like people in California like don't know what to do. They drive a little bit slower. They get a little bit moodier. But I'm just so grateful that we've gotten this much amount of rain because we were really in a drought you guys you know do keep people in your prayers there are a lot of areas i think in northern california where it's rained so much that their people's homes have been flooded and it's just been so so crazy let's see what's inside the bag I love that everything is inside this bag. It's pre-portioned. I don't have to think about anything. Ugh. They give you the meat, they give you the veggies. Green Chef is my favorite. You've oh! oh my God, this is my favorite kind of bread. I believe that it's called ciabatta, I believe. It is my favorite bread. It's delicious. I'm gonna make one for Carlos, one for me. Yeah, so all the ingredients are in here. You don't have to like think about anything. You don't have to go stand in the long lines at the grocery store just to find out the grocery store doesn't have anything. <laughs> And then everything, like I said, is pre-portioned in these little packages, which is really nice. And then you have your veggies as well, your cheese, the artichoke, and everything comes packaged really nicely. They always come packaged in this really heavy duty box that has like ice packs all over. And we always try to keep the ice packs, but we're running out of room. Oh my God. It's gonna hit, it's gonna hit. I'm so, so excited for this recipe. If you guys didn't already know, Green Chef is actually a CCOF certified organic company and they have so many options for pretty much every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, or gluten-free. They can feed just you, they can feed you and a significant other, they can feed your whole entire family. It is just so convenient, especially if you are you know, working late nights or you're a college student or you just have a lot of things going on, your meals are ready for you in the fridge. It literally takes only a few minutes to whip everything up. This is also such a great way to try out new recipes and bring different flavors to the table, especially because it's the new year. You want to try new things. So today, Carlos is trying artichoke for the first time. He didn't know what it was. So I'm really, really excited for him to try that. And you guys will be really amazed by how good these meals are. Like I cannot explain to you how delicious every single green chef meal that we've cooked is. It is just top notch, so good. Green Chef actually has expert chefs on their team that curate every recipe. So you can enjoy nutritious restaurant quality dishes. And this is no surprise. My favorite part is that it's a doorstep delivery. It literally lands straight at my door. I have all of my meals ready to go and prepped for the week. And most of the meals take like 20 to 25 minutes to make and they're so, so good. This is also such a great way to have everyone come together in the kitchen. I feel like nothing brings people 
closer together than food and cooking. I love cooking with Carlos. It's been so much fun. For the last year and a half, almost two years, because of Green Chef, we've been able to cook together and learn new recipes and also try out new dishes. You can also choose from so many different options, by the way. There's so many options they have on their website and you can mix and match and just choose whatever you are craving that week. Make sure you guys use my discount code KIMTAI60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. So check them out at greenchef.com for more details. I'll have everything linked in the description bar down below for you. Just simply click on the link and use my discount code KIMTAI60 for 60% off and free shipping. All right, you guys, it is done. This literally took like 20 minutes to make. Also, I just got these new plates and they're so, so cute. I'll show you guys it up close. I'm gonna put the recipe here. Green Chef sends you like the whole entire recipe. I keep all the recipes in this folder and then I keep it in my pantry in case we ever wanna remake any of the recipes. Look at all the recipes I have. Look at this. <laughs> I literally keep all of them and they're so pretty. Okay, so let me put this in the pantry. It looks so yummy. Oh my goodness, you guys look. Looks so good. Look at these plates. They're so cute as well. I think you got them on CB2. Yeah, CB2. They're so cute. But oh my gosh, look at this sandwich. Looks amazing. It smells bomb. What am I trying for salad? The sandwich. The sandwich. The sandwich? Yeah. What are the titties? What are the titties? Mmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm
So I was on TikTok and I came across this girl and she's holding this bag. I was so interested to know where she got the bag. And so she shared it with everybody in the comments and it's by this company called Isabel and Grace. It's a small sister owned company. Two sisters own it. And everything they have on their website is handmade by people in Mexico. And it is so, so cool. So not only are you supporting Isabel and Grace as a small business here, I think they're based out of Orange County, but you're also supporting people in Mexico Mexico who literally hand make these bags and it is so cool. This is the company Isabel and Grace. I'll link them down below for you guys. Oh my gosh. So I ordered two bags. So they had different designs on the website. I ordered the clothes one because I really like when I have bags that are closed up so nothing falls out. So the first one I got is really fun. It has a really fun pattern on it and it's this bag right here. Oh my goodness. This quality is amazing. I love it. I love it. Okay, this is gonna be perfect for spring and summer. If you guys are going to the beach, you're going on vacation, you're going camping, you can fit so much in this bag. This bag is huge, you guys. So I'll insert a photo to show you what it looks like because mine is straight out of like the box right now. So it, I have to like use it and mold it to how I like it. But there's buttons here at the top. Let me button it up and show you guys. Cute, right? How cute is this bag? Let me see the back. So I'm five feet to give you an idea. And it is just the perfect bag. So good for like a weekend getaway. And I actually love the price as well. I believe the price was like maybe in the 50s or something. I'm not sure if it's on here. 50s or something, I believe. I'd rather buy this and support a small business, honestly. So cute. You can also use it if you go to like the those like street markets. I know they have a lot of it in LA. Or on the weekends if you go and buy like fruits and stuff. So cute. And then I got the same one, but I got it in a plain white color. Cause you guys know, I love everything in white. It's just so easy to match. And also this material, just to give you a close up look, this material is very easy to clean. It is gonna be so nice to travel with. Oh my goodness, it is so, so spacious. I cannot express to you. How great spacious this is, this. okay, hang on. There we go, sorry boys. This is the white one. The white one's so cute. Oh my gosh, you can fit so much stuff. You can even use it to go grocery shopping, you guys. Anyways, I will link Isabel and Grace down below for you guys. They are amazing. I'm so glad I found them on TikTok and purchased from them. I think I'm gonna get my mother-in-law some as well and my mom as well. So cute. How pretty is this package from the cream shop? So cute. This weekend is Lunar New Year. It's actually on Sunday, I believe, in another week. And so they sent this over. I'm gonna open it with you guys. This box is so cute. I know my mom's gonna want it. Oh my gosh, how freaking cute. We got some nail filers. I've been needing those. We have a nail decal and clear polish. It's like Christmas. What's this? A macaron lip balm. Cute. Okay, sheet mask. Oh, I wanna use this tonight. Oh, I'm excited for this. I've been wanting to try new sheet masks. Oh, and then under eye hydrating hydrogel under eye patch. This is so freaking cool. Made in Korea, cruelty free. I love skincare. That's from Korea. I feel like Cream skincare brands are the best. Okay, this is adorable. I'm gonna give it to my mom. In case you guys have been wondering, this is what I've been up to the last week or so. I literally went through my closet and I said, if I have not worn this in the last six months to a year, I am donating it. So we have, I think, 13 or 14 bags here and they're all going to Mexico. Carlos's family has obviously family in Mexico. So we are donating all of this to friends, family, whoever needs clothing in Mexico. So I think 13, 14, 14 bags or something. I'm actually gonna run through my closet one more time before Carlos's mom comes and picks us up because I feel like I can get rid of a lot of, a lot more stuff. And that's honestly something that I'm looking forward to this year. I know this is like the time where we're all like starting new resolutions and new habits and stuff. And so one of mine is I wanted to just go through, declutter my closet, declutter everything in my house like a lot of us are doing. And also just be more conscious of what I'm buying. Like for example, today at Target, your girl really didn't need the basket. So I ended up putting that back and I really didn't need that tray. So I ended up putting that back. I went specifically for dog food. So that's all I did. I went for dog food. I did end up getting that $40 vase just because I had already gotten that like a month ago on Target.com, but it ended up coming broken. So I have to return that. So they had one extra at my store. So I ended up just grabbing that and I'll just do a refund tomorrow. I really do need to go return that because it's 
just been sitting there for a while. But yeah, just be more like, I'm trying to be more conscious of like my spending and what I'm spending on and do I need this because sometimes I overbuy or I just buy it on the spot and then it ends up being given away, donated, which obviously I don't have a problem with. Like I love to like give friends and family like brand new things and I know that it's going to like a good home. But if you really think about it, I'm actually just wasting my money. So I don't want to end up like hoarding things and having things everywhere. So if I don't have a purpose for it, I'm not going to make up one just to buy it. <laughs> so I ended up putting the basket back earlier. I was going to use it in my pantry for grocery bags. You know, when you go to like Stata Brothers, Target, or whatever it may be, and you have the plastic bags. Well, we don't really have a place for it, but I think instead of just buying a, what, $38, $35 basket from Target, I am going to just figure another route out. Old man is in here, hanging out with us. Hi, old man. <laughs> okay, we are in the studio. Just filmed a mukbang a few days ago, so that's why the lights are up. And, oh, by the way, you guys, if you're looking for a good, material, heavy duty, beautiful oak dinner table. Oh my goodness. I'm going to link this table down below for you guys. I found it. Guess where I found it? Of all places. Not that I was like underestimating this place because I knew this place had really good stuff, but Home Depot. Can you guys believe it? For a good oak, like high quality, heavy duty table, Home Depot. I will link it for you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but in person, it is the most beautiful oak. You know that Studio McGee oak? Like the light white oak that Studio McGee uses? If you are, if you, if you are into interior design or like home decor, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes when you buy oak furniture online, it comes a little bit yellow. Like it comes kind of looking like this, like very like dark yellow, but this is the most beautiful oak. It's not yellow at all. It is like white oak, it's beautiful. But yes, I just got this table on Home Depot for my filming table in the studio. And it is so beautiful if you're looking for a good dinner table. I will link it down below for you guys. And it was so easy to put together. We just pop on the legs and called it a day. But anywho, I am in my studio because like this is looking like a mess. And I have been wanting, oh, I'm so sorry, baby. I have been wanting to do this for a while now. It's time, you guys. I've lived here for, this is my third year living here. And it's been one year because I got this whole entire situation installed. Brian and Jocelyn did this for me. We bought everything from the container store. So if you guys ever wanna like replicate this organizational system, go to the container store. But anywho, it's been a year since they installed this for me and I organized my makeup. And I realized that I haven't touched a lot of these things. So I think I'm gonna go and pull out each section, each little basket, and we're gonna keep what we use and we are going to either have to throw away because they're expired or donate if they're still like in brand new condition. Like a lot of these stuff is like in brand new condition. So I have so many things that I want to, like I just, it is just insane. Anyways, I think that's what we're gonna do right now. I feel like nothing is better then a little bit of rain and you can like kind of hear it and just like cleaning and decluttering. Okay, so this I feel like you can, yes. So these you can like pull out like this, friends, and you can just actually lift, as I was saying. <laughs> You can lift the basket out. I believe it's called the Alpha Organizational System at the container store. Hopefully I didn't break this. I don't think I did. This looks simple. Yeah, there we go. So this first container here, it's like all of my miscellaneous. I still wanna use this. I found this on TikTok. It's like an oil thing. Like when you get oily, you just run this stick through your head. But let me get a box so whatever I donate, I can throw in there. All right, whatever we are gonna donate, we'll throw in there. Actually, you know what, to make this faster, whatever I don't want, I'm gonna throw in there. And then we'll have to go through that again and figure out what is expired and what needs to be donated. Okay, these are staying. I feel like these can go in the primary bedroom. I feel like this first drawer is gonna be difficult just because these are like necessities, like tweezers and eyelash glue, you know, things that need to stay. I mean, this is like the perfect time to be doing this because things have been so crazy the last like two weeks that I haven't really gotten a chance to really go full force with my new year's resolution, which is like declutter this whole entire house. We did do like the closet and part of the house, but things have just been so, so crazy. First and foremost, my brother and his wife had their third baby. 
so crazy. She was supposed to be due in January, I believe, and she came a few weeks early, or no, he came a few weeks early. So now I have another nephew, which is so crazy. I haven't had the chance to meet my nephew yet because one, the holiday season is crazy, and that means that it's winter, and that also means that it's COVID season. So the doctor told my brother to just kind of keep the new baby in isolation for a little bit because everyone is sick nowadays, and you know, with babies, their immune system system is not as strong yet when they're first born so I'm completely okay with that I don't even think they're going to Lunar New Year's this weekend at my mom's house because I don't actually know if I'm even going because my whole entire family my sister my mom and my nieces and nephews all have got COVID in December and I did not see them at all in December. We actually canceled Christmas because they had COVID and I only spent a little bit of Christmas with my in-laws. That pretty much was my holiday season. It was chaotic. And then to top this whole thing off, my nephew, who is my oldest nephew, he is the one with the heart condition. You guys have met him before and I've talked about his situation in a few videos. He had a major seizure last week. It was super, super scary. We had to call 911. They rushed to the house and rushed him to the nearest hospital and he was hospitalized for I think two or three weeks I mean sorry two or three nights and he just came home a few nights ago but that was really scary because not only was he born with this heart condition and he's had surgery back in Vietnam I think that his whole either right or left side is completely paralyzed so he only functions on one side of his body but he is he inspires me so much you guys and he's really shy so he's probably never been in a video but you guys have seen him in the background of videos he honestly inspires me so much like there are no excuses in life like no excuses he can do everything like he wakes up every morning and makes himself like breakfast a cup of coffee he mops the house he sweeps he's like the nicest person you will ever meet and he's just so funny and talkative but sometimes he can be really shy with strangers and he has like the sweetest soul he's so good with our dogs like he's like the best brother to his brother and sister and it's just so crazy. We're actually the same age. I've never talked about this before, but we're actually the same age but because he was born with a heart condition it kind of stunted his growth but yeah, so anywho, he had a seizure last week and it was really scary for everyone. Like I said, we had to call 911, they rushed over and what happened was he didn't come downstairs that morning for breakfast, I believe. And so my sister, his mom, and my mom, his grandma thought it was kind of weird and so they went up and checked on him and they all share a bedroom so they went up and checked on him and he was having a seizure and it was just really, really scary because as you guys know, Rocky, our dog, recently had a seizure and human seizures and dog seizures they kind of react the same way so I kind of got a taste of you know what it actually is like I've never seen like a human being have a seizure but I've seen Rocky and regardless of the situation it, it is just terrifying when either your dog or a family member is just like sick or going through something but anyways that's what happened. It's been a crazy, crazy journey. But I think that since he was the last one in the household to get COVID, it probably sparked something. But because he had COVID in the hospital, they had to completely isolate him. And it was just a really scary situation. That's also another reason why I kind of have been away for so long. That's what's been going on. Life has been crazy, but it's just like situations like that. Like obviously like every day we're grateful to live our lives and like, you know, be grateful for everything we have. But situations like that I think really open up your eyes and make you more aware and make you more just like cautious of what's going on in your life and and be grateful for literally every little thing that you have I don't even know if I want this I'll put this aside here that. 
as you guys heard earlier, declutter, decluttering and getting rid of stuff. I've been influenced by TikTok once again. I bought this rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil. It has been talked about all over TikTok to the point where it was sold out on Amazon. I got it off Target actually and got the 5% off because I have the Target red card, but I got two just in case it works. But allegedly, it's supposed to make your hair grow like crazy. And as you guys know, I have some uh, bald spots that I would like to see. So I'm just gonna show you guys them now. So maybe we can come back in about six months or a year. I would like to grow some hair in these areas and just grow hair all overall. Oh, overall. But yeah, so if you guys have used this, let me know in the comments. I guess you're supposed to. So the directions say that I'm supposed to split my hair up or put it in sections that I want hair to grow. And then it says style as needed. But here's the thing, it's oil. So right now I have like dirty hair, but what if I have clean hair and then I go and put this into my head, it's gonna make my hair oily and then I feel like I have to wash my hair all the time. So let me know what you guys do in the comments down below, cause it's oil. Like right here it says, apply a small amount to scalp and comb through through to ends. Apply oil to ends of hair. Uh, leave on for 10 minutes. Wait, no, that's split ends, sorry. Yeah, for daily use, apply a small amount to head and comb through to ends. But I'm like, but it's gonna, I'm an oily hair kind of girl. It's gonna make my, my hair super oily. All of this is hair extension, so like that's not gonna grow. But I need hair up here to grow. And I know it's growing because I always have like these baby hairs just sticking out everywhere. I also grabbed this. This is the same brand, but this is their Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo. So I'm also gonna use this as a shampoo and see if it works. I don't know. I'll let you guys know if my hair grows. 